it to this, but the style points, man. Like we're getting to not you, not you. In general, I'm feeling more and more people like talking about how they won, uh, how much they won by, and how they went about it, yeah. mm-hmm. as opposed to just appreciating winning in the National Basketball Association because they're considered a super team. And well, style yeah, points are going to matter with a big three. You know, you know what it the does. highest it does. I but, mean, that, that's okay. you're not wrong with that. As, as okay. far as like it matters in terms of how people judge them, how mm-hmm. people perceive them, and how people talk about them. Like you're expected to win in certain ways when <sighs> you have a quote unquote big three. I understand when you have that, superstars but... on your team, you're not supposed to have these like grinded out games all the time. You're not supposed to have these come back from down 22 plus points all the time you're supposed to be dominating well, see I, mean, I don't know what de- so what's your I'm de- not saying you it's know, right I'm just saying that's kind of the idea the, that's the, that's how it's discussed the highest differential in the NBA is the Boston Celtics at plus nine okay so I mean you can look at the numbers however you want I get that but look at Milwaukee and Gerald correct me if I'm wrong here but I mean they're 30 and 50, 32 and 15 yeah they were they had a very good record uh, and they still let their coach go. There's a perception that they're not playing up to their uh, to their potential. Mm. Like, why is that? Because they got a big three. Style points matter, but depending on the construction of your roster, and if the only end goal for your team is a championship, if that's all you're being judged on, regular season is all style points because. In, in all actuality, nothing matters till those 16 wins in the playoffs. So everything is a dress rehearsal. So style points matter in a dress rehearsal to to the to the larger to the, national yeah. narrative with it. Yeah, I, I, I hate it. I hate it because the NBA is tough. Yeah. yeah, the NBA is really damn I mean, tough. Sean, Sean in the chat said it's unfair judgment in the NBA in 2024 because every team is talented. That's right. Mm-hmm. Every team it's can put totally. up 110. Every team can put up 110, Lens. Everybody's talented. It's a scoring league. It's a miss or make league. And so I don't like I look at this game and I'm like, um, if you go up in a basketball game 20 points and you're able to win and dub by double digits on the road, I don't give a damn if you play in the Idaho Stampede. If you're on the road in the NBA and you walk away with a double digit win, I don't know. I don't I can't fathom a world where we're trying to find a problem. With that, or like, not us. Again, I'm just saying there's too much of this. Miami's good, man. I know they're on a slide, but that's a well-coached team. That game never got below 11.